is an arsewipe. <laughs> now, as we all know, Mrs. Butler's dog, Bunny, has been suffering from a long viral disease, causing Bunny to lay an inordinate amount of dog nonsense around the parish. Well, it gives me great pleasure to announce that Bunny has finally died. Yay! So you can now all rewind your hose pipes, remove the disinfectant bowls from your doorsteps, and come out of your houses and enjoy the summer. What's left of it? We went to see Lost in Translation, and, and, and it was like... I'm they're not, Japanese. Yeah, they're, they're all Japanese, yeah, but, but he's not and she's not. I agree. Yeah, but it was like, they're just standing around talking, really, and uh, that, that's it. We're all Japanese. Yeah, but, but she's not and he's not. We're, we're not, and they, but they are. I agree. Ghostbusters. Oh. Well, they should be here any minute now's about that then. Now, try to be nice and don't do anything stupidly. I just can't believe my little daughter has a papa boyfriend. It only seems six months ago she was in her school unicorn. Oh, she's all gone growed up now and we just have to ask seeped it. A woman she is now as a result of that. Mamas, dads, this is Derek. Hello, Derek. I am meeting you. Hello. Hello, Drek. I'm meeting you. Hello. Great to meet you both at last. Please, have a shit, Drok. Oh, a seat. Thanks very much. So, was the journey you've just had a good journey to have just had? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was absolutely fine. You know, no traffic on the roads. Lovely house you've got. Yes, it was built by my great-grandfather in a flurry of activity. We're very much at peace at the moment. Lucy, have uh, you and the Dalek done the peculiars yet? Mamas, of course not. Stop trying to embarrass us. OK. Well, I've made up a bed for Shrek in the small room, what had a gyroscope in it one day that was in the past. So, Dick, you sell cars? Yes. How's businessness? It's pretty good. Uh... I was over my target last month. That's great. I buy only the British cars. Let's see, I've had a Buntley, a Jaguar car, a Strange Rover, an Austlin Princessnessness, a Hillman Pimp, oh, and that gorgeous Triumph Shag. Mmm, I like the Shag best. What do you drive, drinker? A Volvo. Never heard of this car. Anyway, where are my mannerisms? Uh, can I offer you a drunk? Oh, Shrek doesn't drunk. He's a teep totaler. Oh, well, how about a flea, then? Or a toffee? Yes? How's about that, then, Farouk? No, I'm fine, thanks. We stopped at the Little Jeff on the way. Well, daughter of Lucy, why don't you show Ferris his room? You're not a spitter, are you, Eric? You don't spit at things. No. Good. Both our spittoons are in the dishwasher. Run along and show him his room. So? What do you think of him when you think about what you think of him? Quite nice boy. I could hardly understood a turdy spoke when he spoke. I know what you're meaning. His grammar was especially was. This is Mission Control to Whippet. Whippet, do you read me? Over! Hey, what's going on, Mickey Man? Where's Brian Kev? Hiya, Dave. You all right? Never mind. Hiya, Mickey Man. Where are they, then? Ah, oh, we ran out of petrol, so they've got to get some more, Dave. Where they better hurry up, man. Hey, how much do you reckon a rocket holds? I don't know how much does your panda hold. I don't know, about ten gallons. Well, a rocket's about twice the size of that, so... Twenty gallon? Hey, Dave. Look, just you two, hurry up and get back here with that petrol. We got the petrol, we're just checking out the past pasties. Yeah, they've got their cornish, cheese and onion, sausage roll. Right, well, tell you what, grab us one of them and get back here as short as you can, all right? Hey, Dave. Could you do us a favour and tell Mickey that I haven't got any um, Scotch eggs, but I've got, I've got a nice garlic pie. Mickey, Bryce says I've run out of Scotch egg. 
But I've got a nice gala pie. Do you want one? What's a gala pie? Well, it's sort of the same basic arrangement. It is a scotch egg. You know, and that it's an egg, like. You know, surrounded by sausage meat, but rather than be presented in a ball shape, it's more presented in like a slab. And oh, for God's sake, man! Look, just you two, hurry up and get back here with that pedal, sharp as you can. Oh, there we go. Hey, Dave, you all right? I think Hiya, we're all Dave. right. I think we're all right now. We've got four guns at the Texaco, uh, and we siphoned the other ten out of some bloke's flatbed wagon out there on the yard standing. You know, by the uh, the dry rising outlet. Done a lot of rusty scaffolding on it. Yeah, a couple of pumps from a, a knackered old fish tank. <laughs> and the, the daft gets painted the Lone Ranger, the Lone Ranger. On, the, on the front. <laughs> <laughs> you daft knackers, man, that's my wagon. I was going to do some scaffolding for the parks department this afternoon. Right, that's it. Mission aborted until after the weekend. Oh, nice. This is Lenny, a eh? common garden snail. He was brought to me by a little boy. Uh, he was in a terrible state. I suspect he'd been poisoned by a pesticide of some description. But uh, he seems fine now. So, uh, bye bye, Lenny. Bye bye. That must be the best bit for you. Oh. Nah, that's the best bit. Love that noise. We saw this film the other day, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and it's like a kung fu film, but with a woman. She jumps on people's roofs. She does, yeah. And, and she walks up walls. I'd love to jump on people's roofs. I agree. He would. Eyes down, here we go. Candy store, 74. All the steps. 39. Legs 11. Buckle my shoe. 32. Jump and jive. 35. Lucky for some, number 7. Bingo! Unlucky for some, 13. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for our regular antique slot. This week, we're joining a windy Dick Baker live at the auction house as he tries to beat the auctioneer. There you go. Thanks, Clive. Yes, indeed. Here I am at East Southorf Auction House, and I'm joined by Chief Auctioneer here, Steve Morton. Hello. Hello. How's business, Steve? Business is very good. We're very uh, busy at the moment. Really? Uh, this piece actually caught my eye. Um, a 19th century Italian clock, I believe, uh, with gold relief. Mm -hmm. Could I ask you a question, Steve? Where did you come by this clock? We've got it via... Uh... We've, got, we've got it via a, a house clearance. So, Steve, has this piece been um, restored, do you know? No, it's still in pristine uh... condition, as it was when we took delivery of the item. Really? Mm. And what's your opinion of it? It's a beautiful, unique... Uh... One of only two pieces I, I've seen since I've been at this auction house. You've seen two? Mm. That's pretty good. I've only seen one. Um, OK, so we get to this point of the show when this is the piece I've chosen, and I can tell you the actual value of this piece, which I believe to be £600. The price in your catalogue is... It's £200. Uh, there you go. Uh. University did you attend when you attended University to Duke? Didn't actually. I went straight into car retailing uh, when I finished school. That's unusual. Did you not go home first? Yes. No, I'm very comfortable with that. There was something, John, that uh, I wanted to ask you. Are you looking at my shoes, Dick? No. Yeah, I think you were, weren't you? No. I don't mind, you know. You can touch the shoe if want. No, really, it's uh, it's quite all right. 
Though it is a nice shoe. Go on, touch their leather. So, what were you saying, Ducky? I was wondering if, um... Look, if... darling, I found it in the kitchen. Something tiny and insignificant. I thought you might like to stare at it closely. My word. It's hardly anything at all. Well done, darling. It really is a super little find. <laughs> Moustache! Oh, there. Sorry, Dregs, you were saying? I was wondering if it's... OK, if I were to ask you for your daughter's hand in marriage. Which? What do you say? Well, if Lucy's hippie, then I'm hoppy. It's as simple as Pratt's trick. Really is. Pratt's simple. Have the shoe. Till bedtime. Uh, what was it we seen the other day? Uh, I, robot. There's robots. Yeah, that's... Yeah, there's... Uh, in it. Yeah. But Will Smith, he's not a robot, or the girl. They go wrong. Yeah, they go wrong, you know, in the head. Uh, but Will Smith, he sorts them out. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. Sometimes a lot. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know there's a lot of chittle chattel on why the flag is flying at half-mast outside the community hall. The truth of the matter is, Mr Baker sadly died halfway through hoisting the flag and failed to release the rope on death. Unfortunately, the police have refused to allow the corpse to be taken away until the bullet has been removed from his forehead. Mrs. Clark. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to meet once again Windy Dick Baker, our antiques expert, who's been scouring the antique markets and auction houses the length and breadth of the country on your behalf to pick out a bargain. Nice to see you again, Dick. Good to see you too. I assume this is the piece you've chosen for us. It is indeed, yes. Rather a good day. These are actually <coughs> my um, favourite pieces. It's a um, Japanese vase, so it's all hand-painted. <coughs> Most actually noticeable is the rather vibrant blue, um, blue colour. It's beautiful, isn't it? That we can see there. That's actually done by <coughs> crushed um, cochineal, which is one step up from the cornflower blue that you usually would see on these particular pots. Right, you know, it is lovely. And this relief here, what's that made of? That's actually gold. I know what you're going to say next. There's a crack There's in There's a crack it. in the back. There is, yes, there is Dick. <coughs> it's not a big deal, because it's actually quite small. It just goes from there, which you can't see, down to there. It's going to affect the value, though, surely. <coughs> Not much. Well, I'll take your word for it, OK. But my favourite thing about this particular vase is, if you come round slightly, you'll see, it's actually got the maker's signature. Uh, can you see that? You'll have to come round. That's what, they'll see it on the camera, Dick, that's yeah, OK. Yeah, but you can't see it from there. If you just come round, you'll see that. It's OK. completely fascinating. Just underneath the gold leaf there. Right, yes, I can, I can uh, see... If you just move in. Uh, just there. And interestingly, it's uh, shaped like a fish. Fish, you say, Dick? Uh, I thought so. $64,000 question time, ladies and gentlemen. We know how much the auction houses estimate to be the value of this property. Dick doesn't. So, Dick, what do you think the uh, actual price of this antique should be? About 700 I would say. He's done it once again, ladies and gentlemen. The auction house estimate was a mere £250. Well done, Dick. <coughs> there you go. Where was it you said you were going when you spoke about going there? We've got an appointment to talk towards the manager of the wishing well about holding the wedding receptacle there. I have received from you, Mama Mara. You're not going in, Shrek? Um, I thought I'd stay with you, if that's all right. Oh, it's about time you get to know my brother, Aurora. They'll be as happy as figs in pits, watching footballers footballing with ball. Should return about ten, ten of cocks. Bye-bye. 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 Be the good boys. So, Drips, what team are you purporting to support her of? I don't uh, support any team in particular, really. Shakes and uprises me. I thought a blokes like you all would be right up the Manchester United's. To be honest, I prefer to play rather than watch. I used to keep Cole. Best Cole keeper in the county. Saving 11 penalty kick-out spots once in a season. Wow. So who's the best keeper you've ever seen? 
Ho ho! Terrific question, Duke! <laughs> Word. Word. Best fall sleeper I ever saw was Peter Stilton. He was shat hot. Not as shat hot as me be, though. Oh, go with, go with. Kiki, one nil to the city. Eat my thoughts. Word. Bird. Okay. When you're negotiating a barrier such as this, you've got to be really careful about your bush muscle. Watch your hand do it. In. Slowly, slowly, and down. Beautiful.